Okay, hey, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I think the, the last team uh, it crashed. Uh, probably my <laughs> Uh, yeah, get out of the water soon. Hopefully, hopefully, man. Hopefully, the market the market comes. Uh, yeah, the, uh, my, my my computer just crashed. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, so, uh, it legitimately, I just loaded up uh, Twitch and just like, nope, didn't want to crash because I was trying to get the link uh, to uh, tweet out. <laughs> uh it's just so weird that it happened uh but it's all fixed now i, I lowered the bit rate so it didn't <laughs> it, it didn't it didn't go too too bad uh feed me calls okay i'll try okay the, the pope will give us sermon soon hopefully hopefully we can see a market bounce uh, the only fast thing is when my computer crashes because i'm trying to trying to uh do use the free version of book maps i, I lose all the back data which is always sad uh yeah, my morning's doing good. Uh, my morning's great. I started the morning pretty early. Uh, I think around like 5 a.m. Just tr again, been on a very weird sleep schedule for the past couple of days. Finally remedy that t to a certain extent. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, and you see, you see a chart that you guys will never see. Uh, this is the USD. Uh, USD of yen. Uh. We we are bearish on this, uh, not not bearish, but we are looking for some downside on this at least to this level, and we're already seeing a, a very nice from the level, a very nice movement down. Probably can catch a hundred pip movement. Oof, very lovely. Five hundred leverage that. Uh, try not to swear. <laughs> we need one to, exactly. Look, we. Uh, so <laughs> shall I play it for the people who who've never heard the developer? Uh, you know what? I'll play it. Go on YouTube. There we go, first thing. For you guys who don't know, this is Steve Barmer. <laughs> the CEO of Microsoft. We'll lower it. Uh, this is like my all time favorite clip ever. It always gets me mo uh, moved. <laughs> oh man, get hyped. Whoa! Friday, woo! Get up! People just joining us. What the hell is this? Get up! Come on! He's like, give it up for me. Let's go! Woo! He's his own hype man. He doesn't need you to hype him. Come on! Who's there to that? Come on, get up! Uh, he, he brings energy. I, I, I like, I like the energy that he brings. <laughs> Just hyping around, getting you prepped. I have four words for you. What developers? I love this <laughs> company. <laughs> yes! Developers, 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 this is the scene. Developers, 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 He's working up a sweat. He's working the stage. He's, he's super hyped, and he's trying to get the crowd. He's trying to build more developers. He's trying to need more developers. <laughs> oh god damn it! Oh. <laughs> oh bro, he he looked like. <laughs> He looks like he's about to go crazy. I was like, oh shit. Oh, oh my god. He about to hurt someone. <laughs> Cocaine one hell of a drop. <laughs> it's exactly my co Cocaine one hell of a drug. Oh, absolute legend, man! Absolute legend. Hello. <laughs> oh, he makes millions, and he says that, "Yo, if he giving you a cut, hey, yo, I want that cut. I, I did it for you. I, I want my cut." <laughs> oh, oh, man, those were the times, man. Those were the times, man. Ah, oh, what happened to CEOs? Oh, okay, now on to serious matters. Hopefully, you guys are all worked up. Oh, we're hyped up. 
we're, we're feeling ourselves. We're, we're trying to we're trying to fill the market, and we're trying to uh, do, do uh, better for ourselves. Hopefully, and we'll start off with Bitcoin, obviously, and, and it's a very a very pivot from my calm demeanor versus <laughs> Bulma's very extreme demeanor. But we got we go on and, and we see what, what's what's Bitcoin been doing for the last couple of days or, or even t the whole week. Well, it's created a low, it's broke the low, it's created a low, it's broke the low. So what we call this is, it's worked what? It's worked the lows, leaving the highs untouched. So what develops here? Well, pools of liquidity. So you developed bigger and bigger pools of liquidity up here. To facilitate a move higher. Now, I need to load up Epic Pen because my computer crashed. Now the problem comes is trying to find out and determine the point where uh, you find the uh, a, a, the maximum or, or the minimum point rather or apex or the declining apex however you want to call it whatever nomenclature works for you uh, but you're trying to find the bottom essentially when price will look to reverse because what price is doing currently is making a very typical market maker sell profile and it can keep doing this until it goes it can in, in, until it reverses and you will look to sell off where we did this but you know this is building pools of liquidity here and it's constantly working the external range of its liquidity why is it doing that well it's stopping out trying to stop out as many longs trying to trap as many traders going short and for a time traders who went short will be in profit until they get a snap movement, essentially whipsaw. So you know when you're in a car and you, and you and you and you hit another car or, or you hit a, a sharp stop, that you get whiplash and and essentially this is what it is. You get either whipsaw or whiplash. It's just a very fast maneuvering and and very rapid maneuver where you have very very uh, immediate reaction off a point. So. Now comes the trouble of determining the uh, shall, shall I say the magnum opus of of this uh, of this uh, low? Was it was it here, or could it be here? Could it could it be here? We we don't know. We we have tried to hazard guess and we try to slowly what accumulate in spot positions. Say any time we see these areas here, we accumulate here. We accumulate it here, and if it dips further, we accumulate here because we have an underlying principle and we're underlying. Lee bullish and why so and we'll go ahead and turn off the drawing so we can look at some indicators uh i know you guys love indicators uh they were done by developers <laughs> now it's done by me so we'll go ahead and uh pull in the favorite to look at trend which is the rolling moving average or essentially the rsi and you have it here as well so now you can see it's, it's just smoothed out with it with a filter and you see the filter uh, placed on and, and it uh, tends to move away from price and acts as a an extra support cloud. But what do you see? Okay, we've been in a very bullish move since. This is ne this move here was never a, a bearish move. Where whereas this move is never nearly, nearly a bearish move. We had very strong uptrend and we have a a bias to trade. Well, what? trade bullish so we have a bullish bias until when until until we see a close and and a rapid decline underneath and we start seeing the weekly and the monthly trend shift because once you get a trend shift on the weekly and the higher time frames you know there's a change of garbs and there's a look to a bearish case and and looks like we've just been in a bull run and just because there's no data pertaining to it any, any lower and this was a small dip into price but hopefully that paints a lovely picture that says okay we are very bullish and, and i'll always look this shot and we can say and you can just take the uh last two and and we can put a lot on some uh let's pull on the short time frame moving averages because we want fast snapping moving averages we want the typically we want the nine and the uh 9 and 13, 6 and 13 work perfectly fine for the example uh, that we have here. We have the, 
this well, creating a trend so we can still identify even on the shorter time frame moving averages that we are in what an uptrend we are trending up so our biases as well we, we are bullish so and and, and i've built my, my bias and, and i frame my bias on any lower time frame chart as as the fact that i'm a a, a bullish trend trader so i understand that price will be bullish and we can go ahead and, and change the moving average to say the real mirror average and you see even on this is very bullish and it's been there we got a small touch here trying to trying to shift but the trend has always and and, and it persists itself to be what bullish trend so what was this bias of saying that we're well, going going to 30 for ek we're entering a bear market what's the, what's the bias i i don't see no bias do you no I, I i see a lovely trending bullish bias this is further supported by the fact that if we look at the indices and and we look at say uh the uh dollar index versus because this is what this uh is uh do denominated with so pull up the do do i don't want to change this pull up the dollar index here so and we, i don't have my drawings but we can change this to a weekly so to ma match both time frames to a week and you see what has this been doing working the highs whilst this has been working the lows so what does that pertain what does that tell us and what does that sort of say okay we've hit this low point here and we moved in tandem from there there we go that was the dump and we we moved with with the dollar index so we moved in parity and we created a double bottom essentially and and just because this was an emerging market it's it's not really fleshed out and not really was not really paired at this point well we can we can tell that and if you look at any normal asset you can say okay what did we do we worked the lows we created a reversal we retraced back up to here we've completed our retracement criteria so we can now look and for this to tend much lower in the interim to let's say about 94 on uh or this so where pray tell that we should have a bearish bias i see my higher time frame bias and and i always take the higher time frames into consideration more so than the one hour or the daily or the intraday charts most people who say oh look look at the intraday chart we, we've moved we've moved down no no look look at the weekly look at what the larger institutions are setting up for a longer term move oh well, they're setting up and, and they're setting up and then they've completed a retracement and we can mark this off actually in the chart so you can see that and, and do stop me if i'm speaking an alien language oh i was hiding the drawings there we go uh that was that drawing and uh, from the weekly let me change that to a weekly color Oh, I didn't save the bearish order block on the weekly, so we just changed the name, changed the text. Bearish. So we've met this criteria of a retracement that we're looking to fill in, hopefully. And uh, this was drawn November, so I knew we were going to come up at, at some point, and I knew we were tending up very slowly. I didn't expect it to fully complete it into this, but I expected to complete it to a certain extent. And you see it constantly working the highs, opposite and an inverse of what Bitcoin and most stock, um, most assets are doing. That's paired to this. We can build a bias to say, okay, we're looking to maybe come down to here, and initially have a have a maybe a a, a, a move up at, at this point in the time at thirty four. Then we see what price does. Uh, come this and and the the time is timing's all out of whack and, and i just just did that as like a general purpose so i don't, don't worry it's just like at, at some point this will look to tend up and eventually come up because we're we are looking uh sort of bearish in the the uh macro level sort of, of with with the whole pandemic and with the uh sort of slowing down of 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 gdp and, and slowing down and growth so hopefully that makes sense and it, if you need a further explanation we can go ahead and do that but remember if you're trading trends you're, you're bullish so you're looking for 
but price to price to go down on the intraday to go up on the higher time frame if because price will tend to do that it will tend to work the lows to stop out as many traders as possible if it has a bullish higher time frame idea because it it on the intraday it goes down to go up price moves down to go up because why because it's trying to get rid of as many traders as it possibly can before it can push up and your first point of bearish contention on the weekly will be this level here so the weekly is closing already and we're coming to an end uh on, on this week uh we have uh saturday sunday uh that's coming up and then this week cap caps off and closes off and, and trades finishes trading week till the next week so hopefully we can see this is just a a bullish a bearish uh bullish order block in the uh, in the works so why why so okay you have a support try to build up here we break the support and we break this clean low then we need what the next week to print a green candle to recover this then we can see price retrade back into this bar if it so desires at, 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 at any moment in time after it closes this to then push up further let's say if it continues up higher and then it just wants to fill out more of these gaps then it wants it can find and we have a place for price to return to in the future for a reaccumulation hopefully that makes sense and we can go down back to the lower time frames and look at the daily and we started on the daily and we said okay price is just working these lows and you see these large bids uh being uh being placed and untouched and we'll show i'll show you that within bulk maps just in a minute we just first go to the four hour chart and we see what the four hour chart is saying and so on my twitter uh i initially thought this was say a point of reversal but then i saw this wick develop and and i said okay i don't like how price is trading into this bar and cl then closing lower so why i i said that is because well it's trust trying to deliver price at this bar so it doesn't have a reference point in the future to come back to it so this is not a stopping point on the four hour time frame in the near so distant future because price trades back into this leaving no void then within the four hour we can see this breakdown happen and say take we we'll highlight this candle highlight the candle go into the hour and you see so within the hour and that was the halfway point so we go this is one two three four so we look at this so what happened price went up delivered price in, into this bar here capping off the void that was present on the four hour then went down and continued to work the lows price then proceeded to hang around here and i said okay you already picked up the bid here and it's still hanging around why okay it's just exhaustion there's a lack of sellers in the market and that's all exhaustion is people are just tiring out just trying to reaccumulate again before what well, another move down and to hit this bid it hit the bid but it didn't clear off all the pending orders all the open orders here so we can build a bias that okay it usually likes to finish auctions and it looks it usually looks to fill out these uh levels so we know that it may at some point during the intraday come back and fill this sta these standing orders after developing some liquidity because if you constantly just push down price without any stopping you don't build up liquidity it's very inefficient to do so so do stop me if that's all alien and uh if you want me to re uh readdress it and i'll ha happily do so we can even jump to to the lower time frames uh yeah we'll go, we'll go down and close off the, and just go to the lower time frames and we put in a session indicator so these just tell you where session prints so this uh this is the whole pre-market range for what london this is london pre-market range this is asia and asia just developed and then just basically hanged around at the 50 percent mark uh, and the lower half so these look to be sellers it's all about energy oh, okay <laughs> yeah it's all about energy it's all about the cost efficiency of doing things you want to be as wasteful as possible because being as wasteful as possible means you accumulate the most money uh 
So Price created this daily imbalance and it does this uh, midnight time. So again, remember the true day for uh, most price feeds and most algorithms is uh, 12, uh, 100 uh, EST. So Eastern Standard Time. So that's that point. And for UTC, uh, if you want to convert that, it's 5am 5 5 UTC uh, currently. Uh, just because we are uh, trying to accommodate for daylight saving. So price then went down and, and it retraded instantly, showed rejection. So you could have taken the sell position off of this bar and instantly be rewarded. Then it came back down, created a low, develop, developed again, traded back into a rejection block. I'll teach you uh, that in a standalone video just because, again, sometimes you, I, I slip and say, say stuff that you guys won't understand but again everything was in due time just giving you uh, guys ample time to absorb the current uh, conce concepts then we can move on and slowly build uh, upon the concepts in, in later videos and you can grow uh, uh, bit by bit so now now New York's range is setting up and it, it sets up uh, again pre-markets and the open will be at 8 30 when equity hours are open let me see if I did that right. Is that set right? 1400. Uh, I have to convert this UTC because all the calculations are on UTC. 1400. Linear line. And I think because we're accommodating for daylight saving. 30. Come back, change to New York. 930. Yeah, perfect. 830 is usually. Uh, equity uh, um, news embargoes and 9.30 is where everything uh, opens up for business again because we are accommodating for daylight saving so we still have time before this range develops and that's why I like situating these streams just before New York's range finishes so we can see what the market reaction is based on this so it's just developing a range and New York uh, London's already set a precedent for a low hopefully we respect this low and, and, and don't come in and just violate but we know anything breaking down will be either a false breakout if we get a nice false breakout where we get a red candle bar down uh then proceed it by a green candle to uh engulf it to push up higher but again we might see a rejection off of the daily imbalance and you might want to be look to take some sell positions uh based on this uh sort of pattern here so if you see price move up and you might want to try to be sellers at, at this point uh, but you want to try to uh, be buyers when you, you see price wanting to show a willingness to go above higher. Because uh, this is usually where market likes to uh, accumulate and, and it says, okay, this is my range for the day. This is the orders I picked up in this range. Okay, what are we looking to do after Asia? We, okay, we want to go down because we've hit a bunch of stops here. We've built a bunch of liquidity. We want to hit those stops and uh, set a precedent of price to go down. Then we can look to say go higher it's traded into a 15 minute bar and we can push it into into ultimately this range here but we're still waiting for new york to range to up so we don't have much uh in terms of information and we don't have much in terms of reaction from new york because they are not trading as of yet and and they and we want to wait for them to come online so we can see a uh, reaction especially with reactions pertaining to say so yes, uh, stuff on the Nasdaq and uh, like the spider and the Tesla Tesla stock uh, and just look at the whole market in general because the market have been has been looking bearish uh, just purely based on sort of uh, inflation uh, inflation and interest rate hikes from the Fed and you can be you can see it on this uh, sort of article and I, I did post it on the discord if you're not part of the discord yet do join that it's it's free and I've only set up the free version, so I'll, let me just quickly uh, switch to the free version view so you can see what you get within the free version. And there we go. I'm, I'm still looking to set up the pay plan, and this is just a sort of uh, once over. I'll, I'm going to make a whole entire video on the Discord uh, once we, uh, once I rather uh, set up the, the sort of paid version and and what i want to what i want to keep in terms of and what i want to add and the differentials in terms of from paid from fee 
but everything so i decided to keep, keep set a precedent that everything you see currently as of now will remain uh free uh, uh, uh these signals are set, uh, which are unfil unaffiliated with myself uh are up in the air so depending on uh what happens uh i might move them around but essentially we're looking to give you uh we're looking to give you about uh, four uh, signals free to get you started uh, in terms of and, and to say, okay, you, you don't, th these at some point would just become nothing uh, to you and you just look at it for you as like, oh, oh, this coin looks, uh, uh, keep an eye on this coin so you try it for yourself at, at some point. So the idea is to get, uh, even as a free user, you, you should, and it should be a present that you should be still be able to be profitable. Uh, from from the discord itself so let's go and just do a simple top down of you and you have the sort of the announcements and then i'll just post every now and again uh i'm a bit sort of cautious about adding everybody because I, I know most people don't like that so i'll mostly do silent posts uh so you might uh not see posts and so just be wary that all the important stuff will pin at the tops uh server friends so these are uh people i considered uh consider friends uh, and uh I consider a friend uh we'll, we'll, we'll say i'll look to join the chats suggestions leave your suggestions I'm, I'm pretty fast reacting uh scams report scams uh that you see ha happening on on twitter uh within the discord or anywhere uh just keep everyone safe because again it's about safety because there's scams are just running rampant just insane and and it's just uh, just something that we, we need to work together and find out okay this is what we need to avoid, this is what we need to do and whatnot. Uh, then you have my corner, uh, well my referral uh, with links to uh, if you want to sign up if you haven't already. Uh, links to indicator, uh, um, so, so the member will o members will always have a 25% discount uh, just whenever and whenever but we're doing this, uh, well, I'm, I always say we like I have a team but I'm just doing this by myself for now. Uh, so that's why things are updates are going to be a bit slow and until I can uh, get together some uh, people to help me out. Uh, uh, so doing a 25% off for Christmas. Uh, so if you just click on this link and you get 25% off the indicator. So instead of paying $50 for it, it'll be 70 50 and you have until the 7th uh, to uh, do that. So you have a lot of time. I plan to do a separate video on just all the paid indicators so because I did do a sort of a a uh what do you might call it just uh, a breakdown of like uh just give you examples of that scams uh, i've seen plenty of rain all over <laughs> the world oh no yeah yeah it could get ugly uh now we have uh sort of my twitter so if you if you don't want to use twitter and you just find it abhorrent uh i, I do and uh, that's why i try, try to accumulate uh an aggregate of bunch of feeds as possible I'm using the sort of paid version of TweetShift, so you do have uh, about, so I, I I mean, I do have, have about have 400 uh, available to me. I've used about, uh, say, I think about coming to 90, uh, maybe 80, uh, about that ballpark. So I do have a lot more in terms of give. If you want more twi uh, twi Twitter feeds uh, plugged into the Discord, I can do manage that. And you can go ahead and connect. So let's say if I were to like my own post, which, uh, let's not do that. Uh, I'll show you with another post. Uh, this you have my sort of Twitter, and you see, you see uh, ba uh, Barma here saying developers, developers, developers. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you guys want the link? Uh, let me go ahead and get that link for you. Let me just do that. Invite people link. Boom. Is it in the I need to update the description. Yeah, I need to do that. See, I was just, I was just been working on. So we're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, so here you have public forums. I might expand it. I might change it around a bit, depending on clarity and, and where people will like things placed. Again, uh, do leave your leave your feedback up below in, in, in sort of where you want to see things and what you want to be added or what you want what you feel like should be added. And again, once we have the paid uh, paid things, uh, I'm happy to sink in most of the money just to uh, re add and, and redo things uh just because again trying to pave the way forward and those who've made it sort of can just support the sort of free version and, and say okay for the newer traders coming in these are nice resources these are nice things that we want to uh we want to see paid into it and it's sort of like again community pulls in 
we, we're pulling the money together. We sort of, uh, we sort of pay. <laughs> everyone sort of pays for the Discord fights, uh, essentially, and all, all the things running for it. Uh, so you have all the public chats, resources. I'm gonna expand them. You can post your own resources. Uh, uh, information. He's uh, again, uh, uh, he, he's pretty high up on my list of people I trust. Uh, just because in terms of for macro economics, many times he says I sort of uh, read up on it just because I I know I can trust him. Now we come to the big thing, which is media feed. Uh, you have Crypto Panic, obviously, which is a news aggregator. Uh, Coin, Coinda, and I need to get rid of the embed links. And I just again, just working on stuff. It's just insane. Uh, but you see what sort of uh what's happening in terms of uh, in the crypto sp uh, sphere. Exchange list, you get to see what's getting listed. Crypto Twitter, it's an aggregation. Uh, again, just give me your recommendations and, and uh, I'll post them. Post self news uh, and say, okay, oh, these are what's news happening. Let's say, okay, look, VV has been hacked. Okay, oof, you didn't know about this if you're invested in this coin. Now we come to traditional markets. Uh, this is equity, uh, equity markets. So stock market has been trading, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so if I click like on this and you, you want to connect your tweet sh uh, Twitter to tweet shift and you will like the post on actual Twitter so you can just interact with Twitter via the actual uh, Discord, which just makes it so much easier on your life. So you don't have to go back and forth. So again, trying to make a very created feed to give you guys the best of the best. Uh, this is a uh, market watch you would have to, uh, I'm just supplying an RSS feed to say, okay, this is a headline. You would have to pay for market watches. Uh, uh, I think it's about uh, ten dollars a, a month uh, after the after a one dollar one dollar four week trial. So you can tr uh, try them out. I do recommend them. I uh, do use them for news as well as bar charts. Those two are, are my go to. Uh, so we already have bar chart feeds into bar charts more free uh, as they post uh, uh, less infrequently throughout the day. But you have sort of traditional markets so you can get catch up with real time uh, 24 hour or whenever it comes up updates. You always have the updates. But if when you click on this, you'll be taken to uh, this and you'll be uh, you'll have to uh, either be subscribed if you want to uh, read the news articles. Uh, the information itself is free and that's just a uh, limitation on the platform in this is all free uh, in terms of finding out. You can just read the headline and say, ah, oh, cool. That's something I need to watch out for. Market posts, uh, up to up to date uh, sort of things, bar chart, another website, and this is uh, just free. So if you click on this, uh, this is a nice short article uh, to give you sort of a uh, free overview. Uh, two websites that I like to uh, I like to use are, are a lot uh, for for traditional markets. Uh, Columnist, uh, this is just RSS feeds from, again coming from someone who I trust, saying okay, these are really great uh, blogs uh, posts that you want to look at. Uh, crack it's a liquidation and a uh, order, uh, 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 order flow. I'm, I'm planning to add another another one, a couple of other mores. Uh, you can spam alpha bots to give you charts, like if you want the price for Bitcoin and whatnot. RSI scanner, so you can see what in, for crypto. And you get a bunch of other bots, again, signals. And you get a nice place to chill out. So after, if you see the market's boring, you can just go ahead and play some Discord games if that's what you're into. If not, you can just relax somewhere else. So that's just a simple overview and this again this is all what's free uh still working on, on sort of what's paid uh plan, plan to include a bunch more and it, I, I want us to try to keep it as trim as possible but i know it's going to end up getting bloated and becoming a very expanded mess then we can sort of contract in i, I forgot so many tabs open okay back back to actual charts So back to the Bitcoin chart, uh, um, we see this uh, price move into here and we can probably see it catch up and, and say in, into this. So that's Bitcoin. Uh, move on to ETH because I think ETH is a lot more bearish like by my books. Like it has a lot more to drop. Like it could drop insane amounts and it, it'd be fine. Uh, so that's what we're gonna look at. Sorry, I just got Discord messages, people messaging me. Uh, so it's trading into this big bar here. We have a large range uh, it could trade into, so it could always always touch into the bottom over here before we can see a reversal from Ethereum. 
and that's something that you want to be paying attention to very closely that remember that bigger larger investors uh will come into and say that okay look bitcoin uh it's good and all but what does it do and they want to they always want to know that and they, they always want to know what does it do oh bitcoin uh, doesn't really do anything oh okay but what does ethereum do oh ethereum is well the backbone of essentially the whole DeFi ecosystem okay so it does more and, and you want to see these smart contracts and you might see these smart contracts start picking up further and further until you see an ultimatum where you see okay and people always talk about the flipping but what you just see is just market sort of correcting you have you have the dominance and, and more money coming into the market but more money flooding into uh ethereum and other smart contracts just because there's more intrinsic value rather than uh just value from a and a proposition based on the fact that okay yeah it's it's, it's just the, what everyone knows and it's just just yeah, it's a store of value uh and, and most people attribute uh bitcoin to gold and digital gold rather and and, and it is uh, to a certain extent digital gold but well what was being gold doing gold's just what a hedge against inflation okay but in actual trading markets what do you look for well you look for tech assets you look for uh, stocks and you look for uh, other things to to uh, president and then and, and actual actual companies that will what pay out dividends and, and pay out uh earnings so that's something that you want to pay attention to so uh any anything uh that you guys sort of one and is my stream sort of dying is my stream sort of okay no it's, it's fine okay I thought my stream crashed again. Yeah, I'm just annoyed. I'm just so paranoid. It's like, it's like, because it's the first time it crashed, and I was just like so, so weirded out. Like, like my computer really never, ca like, usually never crashes. Uh, cake USD. Okay, I'll look at cake for you. We look at cake. Uh, I don't, I don't remember when I drew this, but I drew this. <laughs> So price went up, came back down, and it's finally trading back into this uh, bar here, and it's trading very deeply into this bar. That's, so that's something. Uh, that's a point of contention for Cake, and you're seeing a sort of uh, curvature in terms of a sell price. So you're seeing this uh, sell profile. So you might come way all the way down to a support level, and uh, it's, it's delivered price officially, and and you see this essentially this bar of uh, essentially liquidity. That will be present and looking to fill so let me actually draw that with them rather than freehanding it so that'll be this level here and we go ahead and do this so which line up, lines up with where our retracement so we just pull this up slightly so cake my uh, and uh my and harity has prerogative to want to slowly come back down if the market wants to come back down with cake it'll it'll run these stops here and you'll hit into this liquidity void which is a nice pickup for cake see a reversal because uh cake's a nice uh defi defi tool and do stop me and, and do uh do right if i'm speaking too fast uh because again uh, i'm just on like very very low sleep so i tend to talk much faster when i when i when i'm well sleep deprived i don't know why that is uh so cake or oh, pushed up from here fell down everyone got wicked out and uh pushed up finally hit some Hit some nice nice bullish stance but we have a very wide trading range uh very wide trading range all the way from 18 uh to uh, nine in terms of for a discount to looking to uh buy into uh so again you could you could uh slowly look to accumulate now uh and uh i mean i'm trying i'm trying to uh sort of like i'm trying to be like i'm trying to go back to like if i was a beginner and say okay what would I do here? Uh, if I was a beginner, it was say uh, it was a hundred dollar account, uh, and it is you still can make profit with a hundred dollar account. Uh, I, I've been testing it out, and yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> uh, you just you have to be smart again. Again, you, you trade maybe one two coins. You don't overextend yourself, and the concepts will always remain the same. You, you just you just slowly look to compound a small account. And what you do on a big account, you do on a small account. But what you got to be wary of is on a big account. Well, you're opening up. You can use less leverage, and you can open up to less 
risk positions and take less risk and but but you don't want to define yourself with risky uh maneuvers because with risky maneuvers uh you can turn a can turn a hundred dollar account into a zero dollar account very quickly so let's say if i was using a hundred dollar account I, I would say pick up 10 here pick up the majority here so i know if this reverses off this point i, I still have some bids in in this uh, in this point here for a pickup higher maybe i want to be levered uh let's say levered uh 2x or, or 5x and i i i say stick to these uh uh stick to this leverage uh even uh on on regardless of what account size i'm using i, I usually stick to uh these leverage maximum i think i would ever like myself going over is uh about 10x and i i usually keep my uh positions uh levered uh, around here so, so that's if again 50% so you can have what, a 2% stop loss and you can look to say accumulate and have a stop all the way down here and still be have an accumulation point and bring that stop loss up uh, after that point here and look for a bounce. Hopefully that sort of makes sense and, and if, if it, again if it doesn't it's an open floor to us whatever. So it is again market is moving down and we are expecting sort of a bloody open because we're going to see a a typical gap down and uh, just based on sort of the dividends for today usually you see price uh tend downwards on dividends as you usually see payout uh payouts uh, and uh, selling of assets for profit so you usually see profit taking here so you're going to see a gap down then uh, and uh, hopefully and the crypto market might follow through with the gap down and i'll show you i'll show you that the stock assets uh so that those are my uh cake views uh i think i did i i think yeah i think i did this sometime early this week see i thought I, I th sometimes you just don't remember like uh, I, just, I just like i don't know man so you see a massive gap down and we gapped all the way into this bar here which was a deeper gap down than i was expecting and you saw sellers willing to want to come all the way down into this bar here uh which again nothing that i was not expecting why bitcoin dominance has been very high volume four days before oh, we'll look at bitcoin dominance uh, later uh, okay so now what did we create i so saw we created this nice void that we look to fill so we've already gapped down and pushed down further and we we're expecting a gap on the pre-market so when uh markets open just remember this is dividends and dividends will likely maybe stop out further so we might get a further stop out we've accomplished this intraday time frame but we know there's liquidity based around here we have liquidity here we can say liquidity based here and we can actually drop that down as a drop that down and write this and change the color to intraday and put some text on it to say this, these are sell stops why because when these get stopped out what what happens we create sell pressure so we write these as sell stops and we want to do it to the right and have it as a white text so we have that maybe we can save that as a template and we'll just write sell stops so we can just come back to it at a later date and say okay anytime i want to highlight a sell stop to someone i just pull out that template so we can easily run these sell stops and, and push down into this uh this bar here which is again a reference point for a a, a sort of a bullish bounce but because we've already met sort of uh, lower time frame objectives uh, and, and on the, in one hour we want to see the reaction on this level because uh, it is a typical gap down and we might have prerogative to say uh, come up and fill this come up to fill this then push back down and say come into here before I push up because again with dividends you get a massive sell off pressure just from uh, just from uh, sales as, as things uh, and these don't get paid out until uh january i believe yeah 31st of january so end of uh looking to uh, end end of uh next month so that's something that you you want to do so dividends are paid out but oh, really right yeah dividends so you're expecting gross of this look at more financial statements and you would have to uh subscribe to trading view for that can trying to keep everything very cheap as possible so it's a very cheap production uh, so you guys can re replicate that uh, on your own 
So that covers sort of uh, the spider with the Alibaba because someone just uh, said, okay. And like I said, we're still looking for this level, man. We're, still, we're just looking for this level. <laughs> like, when you get this level, we might get a bounce. And that's, that's about it. That's, that's Alibaba for you. That's nice and simple. Uh, we'll, look at, we'll look at some forest, but we, we just shift things around and just move. We pivot and just says, because we don't care. Because charts are what? Charts are just charts. We're looking for this lower rates because uh, Asian markets do tend to handle uh, these levels much better than uh, and, and coronavirus was much better than uh, the uh, Western Western market or uh, Western regions just purely based on how they adopt things uh, and, and just basically on the charts that we were looking to come down anyway both on the uh, uh, the, the the pound yen and, and the dollar dollar yen which are both looking to come down which is great confidence so we know they're both uh, they're both sort of bearish so unwanted Bitcoin dominance we'll do Bitcoin dominance and see where that's going uh usdt oh bloody hell where was it? there we go right at the top uh still in the old season man still in the old season so we we wanted to bounce up into here uh run up these stops and essentially trying to retrace back to the this uh this level which it just falls shy of doing before creating a massive liquidity pressure up so we can have bitcoin push up and retrace back to this level before targeting this low here but Hopefully we just develop a, a range here whilst we and this becomes our new sort of uh, norm and medium for Bitcoin uh, and uh, and for this sort of thing so we can readjust this old season to say okay we have a much tighter range. Because remember most of these markets are in an infancy so we haven't clearly defined okay what's the correct percentage that this needs to be relative to uh, the, the whole market. Okay is this the maximum cap we should see within a Bitcoin itself? uh how does it fare in a uh in an environment where we're extremely bearish and looking to push down so you look at all these factors and, and you can't you, you can sort of try to uh, dictate okay this was looking to come but we still haven't developed a range well to to my understand or to my understanding and, and we haven't developed a range and you see how this was our range prior this becomes our new range and you see it, it just play within this range and we might see this range keep in tight, keep on tightening and lowering as more funds develop to uh, to look to uh, come to uh, big uh, to Ethereum and other uh, smart chain contracts. So as to your answer on, uh, and to the reason why it pumped, oh, well, it had it had reason to pump because what happened is we had a stop loss into an expansion down we ran these stops and we retraced where did we retrace back to this level here we ran the we ran the stops uh on, we just about ran these stops here and we ran the stops about end here as well so we ran all these stops then what is this you get a stop on oh, we get a reversal when you get a reversal uh, we uh, we can also treat this as an expansion massive expansion down and so we're looking for the dominance to retrace back up into this region here and for videos I, I did today, uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. I'll, I'll give you guys a choice. Uh, do you guys want me to cover uh, the liquidity voids and uh, the uh, liquidity vacuums that's present within the uh, stock, as uh, stock assets? Or uh, look at uh, these. Rev we did revert. Do we do reversals? Yeah, we did reversals in the form of liquidity pools. So uh, would you want. Uh, would you want rather it would be rejection areas or uh so very basically more a, a different variation on an order block so when we look at sort of market structure patterns uh so it's a follow-up on m's and w's so those are the sort of two videos that ideas i can play with today what would you like to see today because I've probably given you I've I've given you guys probably enough space to absorb the current content. Uh it has very high volume at the top. Uh if you use volume to get on trade view. Uh no, I, I don't need to use volume. Uh so if you had very high volume at the top, what that's indicative of is what? This is a tradable asset. Uh that just means people were pushing price wasn't moving. So what what happened was people just collecting shorts here. So you're just collecting shorts here, placing stops here to see a massive down. 
we offload these shorts so you get an automatic response based on these shorts closing not buyers coming in but these short sellers closing so like do, do tell me where, where is my volume well you, you don't need volume because why volume is in the charts here and there's other better there's a better software that you can use to look at volume you look at relative volume or you look at order flow in the form of where candle price the price bar had the volume so volume pros, for profile was in this bar I'm talking to thin air. Do, do, do. do I need to bring in the self Steve Ballmer energy? Do I need to bring in the developers to, to hype this up? You, you guys want that? Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, well, stock has to, we, we go ahead and look at AVAX because that's something I've been tweeting about regularly just because uh, I, I went in uh, a, a lot and I'm trying to recumulating, recumulate at a lower price. I was look, trying to accumulate around. I, I did I did set an alert which I removed uh later on just because oh, she ain't giving it man she ain't giving it up uh she ain't trying to close and and the president for this is uh well we come into this region here but the main president is this whole area and I'll try to label this white let me see if there's a template just call it a void we have voids in white uh we have a massive void here and we can even fine tune this now. That's that's our new void. So uh, a, a a liquidity void is, is a place where okay, you see this bar here, and you see the red bars, and you see the green bars, and nothing is trading into this bar, in the, in this where this void is present. That means price action hasn't been delivered on the four hour time frame on here. But let's say if we're going to the intraday chart, and you see uh price has been delivered here on the intraday chart. So we can see okay, that's perfectly delivered and. That's something again. Uh, I I could I could have fixed in terms of refining on a lower time frame. I was just sort of wrapped up with, uh, with other things to uh be uh looking at the lower time frame. So that's a mistake on my part. Otherwise, I would have already looked to reaccumulate at around uh the, the the sort of perfect touch on on this region here, where it just traded into and whipped sword traders into here, and looked out. We couldn't even grabbed a reaccumulation when this traded retraded back into this bar here. So again, two missed opportunities just because sometimes you, when you're busy, you're busy. But I'm still looking for this uh, to come down and retrade so I can reaccumulate. Uh, reaccumulate, and, and that's that's the key thing. I'm reaccumulating because I've already already have an order that's entered into uh, around this mark here, which uh, I removed the little uh, long position, long and short position, just because. Ah, uh, god damn it, I hate, I, I hate. Cause it just like overlays over the whole thing and, and it just always wants to be highlighted uh, as a something. Uh, A D G I. What's A D G I? That not be a shit one, man. Like if it, if it ain't on training view, I, I'm not gonna try it. Just cause, just cause I'm. I'm it's not. We'll make an example out of this. I just, like, is this meant to be a bot? I'll, I'll give up, man. Like, it's probably a bot. Reset mentally. It's like, okay, that's fine. So, what's price doing here? Well, it's just retrading and, and delivering price on the down. So, if it pushes up, uh, then we can go into that. So we're looking to be sellers above here. We're looking to be buyers under the red line here, which is around 101 to uh, 100. Again, could could have been a nice pickup if I was uh, again paying attention around the 100 mark. But I I had a level set in my mind. I should have been more flexible. That's again. See, this is where learning and and and, and growth never stops. As a trader, you always try to find new things about yourself. And there's 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 being patient and then there's, there's being too patient, just missing moves. So. This is something I could have capitalized on at the 108 mark because it was it entered into uh, the void on the four hour, which was present from here, and it capped it off here. So I could have just set an alert here and at the bottom here and and looked at price action. 
XLM, last one for me. Ah, yeah, you can have as many as you want, man. And because uh, the, the streams are a bit quieter, so when the streams are a bit quieter, you, you guys can have all the attention you guys want. That's not, sh you shouldn't be praying for it to be quiet. And it's another chart that is accumulating on this uh, high time frame idea. Orange is uh, representative of a weekly reaccumulation. Uh, very messy. Uh, so we go ahead and get rid of the intraday line and, and say what's what's happening. So what happened? We had a nice uh, very high on the weekly. This became our range. We started developing an internal range here. So it's a typical sort of range being developed based on this and this. And we're accumulating uh, and we're looking to accumulate on, on this uh, weekly bar here uh, based on this. And we can even drag this down to much further. And our point of invalidation and our point of contention for this will be uh, when we get a close below this uh, this clean low. So we can mark that off for XLM. I actually do really like XLM and that's that's the thing. It's a, it's a very fast protocol and I use it for transferring to and fro. If, I'm, if I had a choice of uh, like using a coin, if I didn't have uh, the option of uh, using uh, TRX, uh, USDT just to save on some fees, uh, I'll be using XLM uh, just because it is faster. Like for me, I've always find it just like it works better. Uh, we'll make this a that's a weekly clean low. So we can mark prices so if it uh, if it close price closes below two two uh, uh, nine eight, we can look for a stop hunt to occur maybe much lower, which will be on this price bar here. Maybe a, here a stop hunt just under, then have a nice false breakout, a nice false breakout, then reversal, hit the monthly accumulation range here. Worst case scenario, then bounce off of this. This is something that you want to be mindful of. But uh, it looks like we're already entering into a weekly range of accumulation. So that's something you want to be present of and cognizant of. So we could see a small uh, intraday bounce uh, with Bitcoin if Bitcoin chooses to rally. And it's already a nice uh, dollar cost average level uh, that we can look at. And, and these would be in your level here. And you'd have already looking to offset these regions but just because we have a larger sort of range that we're dealing with it's a very large range uh you're looking to very add very small positions on here just on the off chance that price does look to want to try tend on to a monthly level of accumulation for uh for xlm so and if you would re-add on a higher low situation let's say you would re-add here and you'd look for it to tend uh, in, in this region here and, and say keep going higher and, and so on and so forth any more coins that you want me to shout? Uh, yeah I'm just getting messages on discord like wait why am I just finding out you got a discord uh, I I'm actually very bad at like announcements uh, like I said, I do a lot of silent announcements. Like just like if you're not, if you're not, if you're not just like not paying attention, it, it could just go under the radar. Which is, uh, I mean, something I need to work on. Uh, but uh, I'm slowly working on this uh, to to go up further, and we'll hopefully uh, hit that. So that's uh, that's gonna be good. Uh, so that's XLM for you in a nutshell. We'll look at some other coins today, look at some top coins, which should be Luna. And it, it did come back down and, and it's just, if you missed it, you've missed it. It traded perfectly back into this bar, closing off any semblance of a, a void uh, to be present here. And it traded up into this bearish region here, which tested into a, a downtrend and it could start a downtrend into this price bar here. Because you can treat all these red candles as, uh, as one and it, it, it just... It wants to retrade back into this region here so you can set a stop gap and, and set, a, uh, set a region that it wants to trade and run under uh, based on this level and this will be a daily level that we look to so you're, you're looking for uh, a best case around uh, 57 uh, for 80 if the market moves down with that so let's say if you get a false breakout situation and we push down then we push up further uh, at a later date again everything comes in with uh, sort of market areas and we want to take ideally take this uh, region here uh, that it was consolidating and it's just constantly consistently making new uh, region highs uh, so it's no region highs so we go ahead and say grab this 
and this was price retracement he retraced back to 50 percent so we're looking for price expansion and expanded on the first target our next target will probably be and we'll look for this after this region here and we don't want to grab the whole move just because this is a very extended move we want to grab the area of consolidation into a retracement and we've already got a reversal sign when we get the stop hunt so after the stop hunt we get a nice expansion into a retracement back down into this candle bar uh, and into this weekly region here and it, it was a slow forming one it did take uh, a matter of uh, weeks uh, a week or two to form and to come back into a tradable range and this is why uh, some, sometimes having uh, patience can pay off uh, pay off so hopefully we get a push up afterwards and we get next leg to uh, want to clear out these uh, sell stops and push ultimately to this region again like we saw here we might see some overhang and that, that's to be expected if we see overhang into a false breakout to grab uh, grab more breakout traders we might see a push down back lower that's good to know uh, that you guys are enjoying the discord uh, ho hopefully we can make it better with, with time and it's, only, it's something that I see uh, myself saying okay this is can only get better it's only up from here we only can go up stocks may go down but we only go up because remember everything we learn on crypto and uh stocks we can translate into forex uh when we hit the bear market sense just just become a forex channel at that point because if we find if we have find nothing we will we, we, the goal is we'll always have something to trade uh, whether it be stocks whether it be indices whether it be uh forex or cryptocurrencies we'll always have something to trade because we understand charts and that's what we do here we understand charts and we move forward the only thing we need to learn further is well stuff present in the discord which is uh the macro side and the macro side is very important when you're looking at commitment of traders when we're looking at other uh, bullish and bearish biases and how to build that with with that so that's something that you want to look to tend to and, and, and it just looks like it's trying to post an area where he wants to come back down maybe come back down onto this four hour bar here but uh again look look, look for these regions and it's exactly the same region that we're looking for around the uh 57 mark for for luna so that's something that we'll cover luna for uh next uh to do what's what look at we'll do our daily ada check we're based on ada uh it's doing nothing okay uh next uh next coin uh, Doge. Uh, Doge is a bit of a tricky one. Uh, I, ex I expect some upside. I'm, I'm expecting at least uh, around uh, around thirty cents. Uh, oh, it's, it seems like a stretch, but uh, hit this area here, which I was expecting, but it went deeper than what I was expecting initially. And but this was done all the way back uh, back in November, Novemberish, when uh, prior to this dip, I was like, okay, worst case scenario, we hit the, we hit the clean we hit this uh area of reaccumulation here and, and push up and we did hit the worst case scenario then we proceeded to pump on that and this is something that i missed because I, I i forgot to do one click of a button which is just set an alert here and i just completely forgot about doge hitting this level so that's key that's key into uh uh that's key which is key to understanding workflow not order flow workflow remember because you're trying to be as efficient, uh, time efficient as possible, so setting alerts is really key, and this is just about finding the one uh, and having the where for all to have that extra step setting these alerts. With me, sometimes I, I just get so busy, you get caught up with other things and, and you forget about them. But hopefully, we can see this stop hunt occur and and just become a reaccumulation with the uh, with price data to go higher but we still have this massive void present here that we can look up and push further so that's something we want to be cognizant of that if the market pushes down we can see doge push down much further and uh can be a very nice sort of trade opportunity even if we see something like this occur and unfold because remember our long our, our, our longer term target is around 30 cents uh just purely based on uh sort of uh Hopium. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, just purely based on the charts. Even stock has market mega cycles. Uh, which, yeah, everything. Uh, everything. Uh, has 
has market maker side. Everything is cyclical. Uh, oh, cyclical not because it's cyclical. Uh, to be cyclical, uh, to be cyclical, it's not cyclical to be for the sake of being cyclical. It's cyclical because of how price is delivered. Because remember, uh, data feeds uh, such as the Nasdaq and, and stuff like that. They provide that and everything is sort of run by markets in terms of algorithm to deliver price so if everything's always based on algorithms well there'll be sort of tells and 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 and, and it'll show you its hand in terms of, okay this is what it likes to do it's an algorithm it can do only four things which is i've highlighted i think on prior streams which are expansion retracement reversal or consolidation it can either pick up orders in the form of consolidation and pick up buy and sell stops you can either expand to hit those stops, then further retrace to deliver price efficiently, which it does here. So this will be a form of a expansion down, retracement up, try to fill in this gap, then a, a sort of consolidation. You get a reversal here, reversal is usually uh, and followed by a stop hunt. Then you follow your reversal by a, a, a and you see the reversal into a massive expansion. You, you expand up, then you sort of retrace back down. Then what we look for, either an area of consolidation or a reversal into a push higher. Because why? What do reversals do? Well, reversals are just clearing up, sell stop, clearing up liquidity, collecting liquidity to further a, a push. What are retracements? Okay, you're just trying to deliver price efficiently. Because this price bar is very inefficient. In delivering price and consolidation was consolidation oh it's consolidation it's just you just picking up and consolidating in a tight range of orders that's all it is and th those are your four things the market can do day in day out month in month out regardless of the time frame and the one minute the, the one week it will it will only ever do those four things it's about identifying it which will lead you to become a trader and that's the job of a trader, trying to identify these stages and trying to make these into tangible profits. Any questions on that? Uh, did I lose anyone in, in that sort of explanation? So that will be sort of my last touching point for today. Uh, actually, we'll look at book maps quickly and do a quick uh, book map highlight because We'll show book map at least once once per stream just just because to make sure you guys still know about that its existence again because i had uh sort of this uh reset only have one out of local data which is sad times so i want to move back to a paid plan but i know you guys uh like these freer plans uh and, and these free uh, tools that i use to, to use so again what is this this is uh, something we call an iceberg order so when price hits a level our algorithm responds with a order that's undetermined in size that can pick up an indefinite amount of orders uh, until it runs out. Uh, do I have my own bot? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> I do not have my own bot. Uh, I'm not much of a coder. The only bit of code I, I, I know is PineScript, just purely based on the fact that uh, just I, I wanted to understand indicators better and so I want to make my own indicators. That's the only language I picked up. I'm just super time constrained and trying to pick up uh, new languages just because I'm, tr I'm trying to make the time, but I'm, I'm not finding the time that I can make up for it. Uh, <laughs> it's too difficult. Don't don't worry, Greg. It was, it, I know I know that's a joke, but uh, for anyone that's wondering, oh, it's just too difficult. It'll come within time. And, and it's just if you allow yourself to have the time to learn, it starts to become easier. And, and that's that's what people don't allow themselves to do is they don't allow themselves to learn at a speed which is uh which is comfortable to them they they force themselves to try to pick up things at a faster pace to try to be spoon fed signals will come into that what's the name of the auction uh, auction like website uh this is book maps and the auctions uh if you want to look at it, is signals uh i think i have that if I don't have signals linked, I'll start having it from next stream out. I need to work on that. Again, just got so many things to do at once. Ah, uh, where would I find these time? So, right now we have these uh, iceberg order develop, trying to pick up order, trying to hold up these uh, 
try to hold up these logs into uh, into a push up higher but always be cognizant that we have uh, this level present here push higher moon signals <laughs> moon signals and lambo signals please 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 me familiar uh let's let's look at some uh you know what if you want, you guys want some moon signals what's what's some moon signals we can give out uh oh cummies I, I know cummies is a very good uh is that still around uh I'm joking. No, don't, don't, don't buy that um, it's a joke i'm just gonna, oh, I'm like oh i bought cummies oh it's just going down i'm like no no it's a joke it's a joke please don't buy it i, I have to preface it uh with, with the fact that it's a joke oh, otherwise people uh get uh, sort of into that in, in the, into the whole thing it's like oh yeah he told me to buy cummies man he told me about the, about the com rockets he said he said to the moon uh no nah, i don't really chase moon rockets uh i just let orders run so you you play levels and you let, let the rest run that's what i'm doing with avex at the moment i'm reaccumulating and selling when i see it at a high so if i go back to avex and, I, and we, we'll do a small breakdown for those who are still paying attention uh to the stream so because i entered on this and it, it was it took so long to come so you miss i missed the initial pump saw at this i'm like what the hell what and i was just like okay i wanted to come back to this range worst case so I, I slowly developed and from almost a month uh of waiting uh, until it came into this region so if, if, if i'm waiting a month i'm gonna take this so i took this uh I took this here so what, what do i where do i take profits so Price instantly blew up and, in and traded into this bearish order block, which I took profits on. Yeah, at, at the open on this uh, or this order block here. So, and uh, did I take all my money off? No. Why? Because I had a really nice entry. So why would I look to take everything off when I had a very nice entry? So I take say twenty five percent off. I like twenty five percent. You may like fifty uh, percent. Uh, so, but I, and I always say anywhere from this range is very nice. You want to have multiple out. So my second out will probably be ha here until we have an uh, uh, a, a a very climatic out later on. So now I, I, I took some position off. Okay. But I wanted the most skin in the game. So where would I look to reaccumulate? Okay. I reaccumulate on the say retracement. So price will retrace eventually. And if it retraces and if it takes a while, it may or may not give me this. If it gives me this, I'll buy it and reaccumulate. So my order starts averaging up higher. So maybe my order starts averaging up, up up into this region here. I move my stop up along with that to facilitate a and, and keep the risk tolerance to as as, as low as a, a pos humanly can. Then I can ride this up to the second profit objective and then take some money off. Maybe take a bit more off at this time because we're coming up much higher. And we're seeing a lot more gains and, and let's say our order ends up averaging say here yeah, worst case. So we, we entered in a larger order. This will still be a profitable setup. And we had a stop and a loss here. And we hit this to here. And that's still a nice, very nice sort of uh, setup. If we initially entered here, then we accumulated here. And we average our order here. How to spot a high. How to spot a high in the chart. Uh, how to spot tops, essentially, you're looking for. Okay, we, we can do that. We can... We can look at double tops and uh, and, and phantom uh, phantom tops. Uh, yeah. Uh, today's video is gonna be price retracement because I think most people get confused when I look uh, when I talk about uh, liquidity voids and most people look at them as vector candle recovery. And I always preface it saying, okay, you know what? We're just playing Chinese whispers. Uh, I'm telling you, th this is why this happened and. and many uh, like a couple of down uh, and then 40 20 years down the line uh people say okay and it ends up becoming okay the totally wrong thing so you're right but for the wrong reasons so that's what ends up happening and it just becomes okay okay is is, is a precedent to become correct well yes you want to understand the underlying principle rather than being correct because it's not about being correct it's about understanding why you're correct because if you can understand why you're correct you can then look to replicate that's the whole thing you're looking to find a model which you can replicate on and that's that's what you want to uh you want to attend to so hopefully 
today's stream has been informative. Uh, hopefully something's, uh, uh, you guys f have found it, uh, helpful. Uh, probably wrap around here. Uh, do you think 54, 40k? Uh, I haven't answered that yet, so we'll finish that off. So one, one last question. Yes, there's a precedent for it to come to here as in the form of a stop out. So if you're looking to stop out these larger bids and even this larger player here, we'll look to stop out all the way into this region here. Hey, gangsta. So look, Bitcoin could come back down to all the way down into here and push down in the form of stops. Because why? Because let me tell you. So with usually stop hunts and, 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 and prices of points, what Bitcoin likes to do on the intraday, well, it likes to tend to stop out between a thousand to two thousand Bitcoin, uh, two thousand dollars rather, uh, not Bitcoin. Oh yeah, I hit seven hundred subs. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, everyone, thank you. Whoever's still here, thank you for seven hundred subs. To the moon for, for the stream onwards. Uh, so Bitcoin would like to stop out two thousand to one thousand bids. That's predetermined notion for it to come here. Okay, what's also this level? I marked it off as the monthly fifty percent. So if I go to my monthly chart, where did that uh, where did that come from? The high here, low here, the most recent range expansion. So price will retrace and consolidate around fifty percent of price bar. So yes, there is a uh, there is some predetermined notion that price can come back to this level in the form of a stop hunt then followed by a reversal but currently we're still looking at a higher level prior to this coming to this level because we have this weekly accumulation here and this uh, still isn't invalid uh, it's, it's not invalid until a, a very lo long while uh, all the way all the way down to here on the weekly let me double check that for you uh, yeah all the way down into this stop out so even if you stop out all the way down into this candle body low it's still a point in a contention of a for a reversal pattern was that, was that explanatory, Stephen? In depth enough? Understandable? So, so currently, so this is a maybe, this is a maybe in terms of condition. Right now, this is a definite, uh, but we play levels. We say we play this level here, then maybe come into this bid and push up higher. So, I mean, and, and I think I, I just like threw everyone off in terms of like because I stre streamed at I think 1 p.m. yesterday because I just woke up at 1 p.m. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully, uh, so hopefully we, 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 I, I start fixing my schedule uh, and, and like because I'm I'm done I'm done with the majority of what I need to do with the server is just fine tuning and and, and again consolidating the server uh, and, and, and into things and. We can start just having it automated and I can start being on a, on a better schedule. Uh, what is this bot trying to tell me to look at LEG? I, I try to look at it, it doesn't exist. We, we, we don't look at, we don't look at trash coins here, okay? We only look at securities. It's, it's a security if it's not a meme token. We need utility, we need understanding, we need white paper, we need tokenomics. We need macroeconomics. We need everything. We need the whole full shebang. bang. There we go. Thank you for spice. Thank you, spicy stuff again. <laughs> uh, my guy looks scammer. Yeah, man. Like, why are you trying to come in here and say, okay, look at this one coin? When this it doesn't exist. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's trash coins. Like, I'm I'm most surprised to say a president is no more trash coins on the stream. Uh, so you stream at. I'm 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 gonna try twelve thirty man twelve thirty every day man, uh, <laughs> uh maybe a bit early, around twelve thirty. Uh, my schedule is fixed, hopefully. Lord willing, it's fixed. Here the charts. There's empty. Uh, I don't know why that came about. Like yeah, wait. I was looking at that. I was like, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know what that was. Uh. Uh, empty note? 
What is this? What, what the heck? Oh, I know what this is. I accidentally clicked this so you can we can write notes. So let me write a note. Uh. Oh wait, let me. Oh, this one's the link. Uh. This one's linked to Apex. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can write down ideas like this. Oh, okay, that's nice. You can live down notes. Uh, this is text notes. Learn new. <laughs> Never found the need to use these. Uh, so I was just, we just crossed that out. Yeah. Let me just close this off. We don't need. To, we don't need to write these notes. <laughs> Like with me, I just like I get so tired. Like I accidentally click stuff, and and when I accidentally click stuff, oh stuff happens. I'm like, wait, how did I do that? <laughs> that's that's how you learn. We've got, that's how you learn, folks. You just you just click random stuff, and if it breaks, it breaks. If it works, okay, you found something that works. Uh, uh you know what? Let, let's let's wrap up the stream with some uh with. <laughs> Cause someone someone just spit me off because cocaine was he is one hell of a drug. It's, oh, I just have to play that. Uh, uh, is one. Ah. Uh. We gonna hang out with Rick James. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get. And here he comes. <laughs> The Studio 54 thing, you know. Ah, this is so funny. If you haven't watched this, you know watch saying, this. It's, it's just but some of the funniest, you know, funniest comedy again. ever. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, best meme ever. Okay, Steve, Steve. I don't think Steve Ballmer was on cocaine. Uh, but cocaine, hell of a drug. <laughs> okay, that, that's enough. And uh, hopefully that lightened your mood. If you did catch the stream late. Uh, do go ahead and watch that from the start. Uh, I, I did sort of introduce the server in terms of out what Barmer days were the good. Yeah, exactly, man. Barmer days were the good days. Uh... <laughs> uh, so those are my socials. Uh, those that's my schedule, and I say sometime midday-ish and, and any time midday-ish, really. If I can fix my schedule, I'll, I'll try properly properly fix it. And it just again. I have to move around a lot of stuff for uh, for, for YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, t take it, uh, stay safe, man. Uh, so enjoy the rest of the day. If again, watch the rest of the content. I, I did a I did a short overview of the Discord server. Uh, in between, again, you have more, all my ideas, and I'll I'll try keep you updated on Twitter or Discord. So join the Discord and just at me and and, and I've I've got people in there that can help you uh, help you guys out. Uh, but majority of it's new newer traders, so yeah, do join. It, it is free, uh, so d don't miss out on the opportunity. Okay, I hope you guys uh, catch you tomorrow. Uh, have a lovely day, and safe trading.